Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Eagle Moss Star Trek The Official Starships Collection. This time issue 137, the Zindi Primate Starship. Now, if you watched the last one, there were a little bit of, um, yeah, it's not really a flat magazine, but it will flatten out in the binder. So, a little bit upset, but I, I'm not in for the magazines on these anyway. I do the... Um, I do like the models more than anything. So, Type is a cruiser, 22nd century, it's only 200 meters long. It's got a particle beam as its weapon. Right, let's have a look at the Zindi. The Zindi was a um, species, it series two, or series three of um, Enterprise. A little bit crappy on the top there, but hey ho. Right, Zindi Primate. Primates were the um, yeah they were the, the monkey type people All right yeah they had plenty of different ones insectoids humanoids oh the aquatics insect you know what I'm insectoids I don't know about five maybe six different types I think we've had most of them by now I'm not hundred percent certain but yeah. He wasn't a primate, wasn't he? The um, the account, the ambassador, or something, or unless the primate one is a humanoid one, I don't know. I really need to look into back into Enterprise again. And the ship looks very much that looks familiar with the the, the two blades on the front, possibly like a smuggler ship from um, Next Generation. The dark black one. I don't know. They helped save Earth from the Zindi super weapon. Yeah, but they made it to start with anyway, so yeah, thanks, but no thanks, Zindi. Kind of different angles of the ship there, apart when it was in the um in the episode with the sphere, the weapon. Yeah, I'm probably wrong then, aren't I? So we are, the primates are the primates. There were ones that looked like... Were there ones that look like apes? They kind of got the jowls on the side of the head and more hair. I don't, don't know, I probably got it, might have got it wrong. Right, wasn't she the... Oh my god, the Guardians. They were worshipped by all species of the Zindi, yeah. But weren't they something to do with the future? with the future war with the Federation. Yeah, it's part of the Time War. Yeah, another series I really need to look into. Yeah, that's no... Primate not arboreal, so it wasn't aquatic then. Oh, so yeah, I definitely need to look back into watch Enterprise again. Right, main picture of the ship. Main engine pylon. Okay, it looks like it comes down from the top here. That looks familiar. That piece there. And we had a warp engine line. Isn't that a Jemadar warp, warp engine piece? I know they'd like to recycle their, um, the shapes and the pieces on, on Star Trek. I mean, a lot of them they used to, with, with stuff like Next Generation, they'd recycle the models, change the numbers for different... Federation ships change, just add on certain bits and paint a different colour for different aliens. There's one specifically that it was used about half a dozen times throughout the entire series. Just changed a little bit, but you could tell. You could just tell what it was. But well, kind of looks like, whenever the front bits on there kind of go forward and connect. It looks like the front end of a speeder bike from Star Wars, but not. You could see some design work on here. I'm actually planning this light out and not just jumping straight into it. Now, I don't know the difference. Let's, let's play spot the difference, shall we? Isn't that one of the different ships? Term to term. Looks like it's just weathered. That looks like it's brand new, fresh out of the shop. That looks like it's possibly been used for a while. That looks like it's been rusted. Or a John Eves one, was it? Ha ha! He's tried several all different types of camouflage pattern. Oh, okay, fine. Kind of liked the idea better where it was a, 
yeah, new, old, older, but that's fine. Right, the Zindi Arc. The Zindi Arc lasted an entire series. It was ridiculous. The only problem with it, you couldn't jump in and out of an episode like you could with the original Star Trek Next Gen. Yeah, you had some episodes where you could jump in and it'd be like, hmm, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I'll go with it. But at the same time, you could just watch them all the way through. Where your Deep Space Nine, Series 7, was it? 6? Definitely seven was a complete story arc from beginning to the end with little bits added into it instead of continuing storylines dotted in throughout the entire seven years. It got a little bit confusing, but yeah, I quite liked it. You had to watch a series to um, to understand what was going on. It kind of uh, reeled all your um, all your people in, all your viewers in. You're in from the beginning. You're in for the entire series. Oh, was that the Zindi? Oh, yeah, yeah, the finishing with the bang. The weapon was destroyed. Archer was lost. Suddenly went back in time to when... Yeah, there was an alternate World War Two, Or nowadays. With World War, well, with, with future technology for it. Back screen there, on screen picture there of the the actual ship itself. First appearance, E2 in Voyager? What? That's not right. Ah, E2, Enterprise 2. <clears throat> that was the one where the, um, oh, with Enterprise Square, they had, was it one with the, with the future Enterprise, which had the, the crew who had been living on the ship. There was like generations after generations after generations afterwards. And they came back in time to help Captain Archer's Enterprise. But yeah, that's a spelling mistake. There's Indy Council as well. The Council for the... was in, well, it's in quite a few episodes anyway, so yes. Okay. Next one is going to be the Lantry. Another uh, Miranda class variant. I think that's the third, maybe the fourth one we've seen so far. I'm not sure if it, Yeah, the, the Miranda class is there, the Reliant. We've had Saratoga before now, and a th possibly another one. I'm not quite sure, but we'll find that one out next next time on 138. So, that's that one done with? Why did I put the model? Ah, there it is. Right, standard boxes as usual. Let's get her out. This is 0980-A slash B. I wish, I do honestly wish I knew what that meant. I mean, the last one was a completely different number again, but yeah, Zindi Primate Starship. So let's get that out of the way. Magazine out of the way. Right. Now this is different. You know, yeah, I, you can see the shape. There was a thing, there were the Jem'Hadar ships, which that shape was the warp drive. Not really picking my drugs camera, I think it's too light. There's no lights on in here either. But let's go fly by. Fly by? Fly by! Da, 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 da. There's not that much detail on this, but there is. I think it's either really subtle or. Hmm. A front shot there, very low profile, very slung down, nothing there profile. Yeah. I'm guessing from normal standard layout that should be the bridge. But this bit on here looks like it's extra with the colour in, with it being a lighter green. And there's been a lot more darker camouflage of green. It looks like this bit comes off. And I, I, I'd actually put money on that it would actually, if it expanded it, it would come off. I mean, these look like warp engines, nacelles. If it was all fully in and it's not, it's hollow inside there, or this underneath here. It um, kind of would look like a, an extra shuttlecraft that would unconnect and off you go. That's really weird. It's 
so there's no indents for the windows. As you can see there are the windows on there anyway, all nicely printed in on the edges. But um Yeah, oh, I wasn't kind of looking forward to this. Because I thought, oh god, here we go, another one. Because I really do like my starships. But um yeah, that's not bad that one. It looks like top parts plastic. It looks like this bulk bit on, on here. Is your metal section, possibly these bits here. So a metal part there and the the glue glue the um, plastic on top. Yeah, so the heavier the weightier parts underneath it. Size wise, same as the um, last one, it's kind of it's not the full length of my hand, but not far off. But yeah, you can, you can, it just stands out like a sore thumb, this bit here. It looks really, really weird. Hmm. Yeah, I think these, the size of these, were meant to be bigger, if not a lot bigger than the Enterprise, the NX Class Enterprise. But um, yeah, quite, I quite like that, to be honest. It's, it's kind of a weird that there's a a slight gap under there which you can but can't really tell it shows up a lot more on the camera as I'm seeing it because there's a shadow, there's a shade in there I don't know, kind of that part really looks like the Voyager but it's just done the shape wise see the same that they reuse things Voyager shape there the uh, Jemadar warp engines there and additional par which is like the um, aero shuttle from Voyager and the Voyager kind of representation there as well no well, why not it's a, it's a trek sort of um yeah it's a trek idea fine engines on the bike no there's getting less and less with eagle moss stuff that's actually clear or see-through-ish sort of parts and there's nothing on here at all I can't see anything that's see-through they're painted, painted, everything's painted. But I suppose that if they didn't need it, they don't need to put it on. So yeah, fine, thumbs up. Quite like this one. So there she is. But anyway, thanks for watching. She goes in the middle. Please like, subscribe. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Discord. Pop into Retro Man Cave's channel and have a chat with me if you want. Do you want to help me out with the channel? I do Patreon. Please, all the links are below in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.